Hello, today I'll be installing these LED lights. This is the specs for them. And this is, uh, I'll be putting this on a motorcycle. Uh, they're pods. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon. Uh, I paid like 35 bucks for these. You get eight pods. And this is how it came everything in the box like that. Here, here are the pods right here. You get eight of these. They're waterproof. And here's the remote. And the instructions right here. Okay, so you this is what you get in the box. You get eight pods. You get zip ties. This is the main unit right here. Uh, the black will go to your negative battery and the red will go to your positive. And the white, this is for your brake light. So basically when you press the brake, all the LEDs turn red. And um, for just safety reasons, it just goes red. It comes with two batteries. Uh, here's a remote, and the remote already has batteries in it too. Uh, comes with an extra fuse, and here's all the harnesses. This is the extensions for for these right here. Yeah, so everything will plug into your main unit, and this is how the back of the paper looks. And to mount them, I just used rubbing alcohol and a rag. Uh, before you stick it on, make sure you wipe it off with rubbing alcohol so you can get all the grease and oil off and dirt. And once that off, use another rag to wipe off and dry it off quickly. Um, alcohol, uh, it quickly evaporates, so it dries pretty quick. And you'll be able to stick the sun and it'll stick really good without coming off. And I did the same thing for the back and the sides and the front um, it sticks really good and it's gonna be hard to come off uh, you have to put some pressure to get that off and to connect them like see that this is that extension wire that goes from here all the way to the other LED this is the extension wire you can just uh, coil it up and then I use a twisty tie that that uh, that was on the kit. I didn't use a zip tie. I just used the twisty ties, like these back ties that was uh, already in the box from being twist tied. And I just twisted it up, and then you can just hide it inside the fairing. Like make it nice, and nobody will uh, able to see that. And for the white wire, I just taped the end off, and uh, I just left it. I'm not gonna connect it to my brake light. Um, I thought about it, but since I'm going to just have red LEDs, uh, I decided not to do it. But I think you will just splice it into your, um, brake light cable, that's it. You just bridge it, and that's it. I think it should act as a brake light. Alright, and here's the finished product. So I put one underneath here, and the wires goes all the way in there. And I run another one I put inside of here by the radiator. Uh, it's right there. And then I run the wire. The next one I put uh, in here, right here, right below the frame. Then the wire, I just ran it. Uh, here's those extensions. It's run. And then one I put in the back. Then the other one I put same on the other side on the frame, and one inside this radio, uh, inside the housing, right there. And then I run the wire back all the way to uh, the battery. So I put the main unit in here, where the, like underneath the seat, and the fairing is going to go here, so it's going to cover everything. And then the battery, those two, you just connect. You just connect like that, 
uh, to the positive and one to the negative, and that's it. And then the remote, here's the remote right here. This is how it's gonna look, like that. Let me turn the light off. So that's how it looks. And that's only, I only use six pods. Uh, I did not use the other two. Here's the front. This is how the other one looks. Here's one here. I probably should have put maybe one in the middle somewhere, but uh, I decided not to. And there's one right there. And I'm gonna change the colors. Here's all the colors. There's a fade option and back to red. And then there's this, like a flicker option. And then there's a, like a fade option. Just in and out. And the other button, the red one is just off. So the nice part, if you do tune it up, it stays at that same function as you left it on. So that should be it for this video. And this is how it looks in the dark. And here I'm going to show you all the colors and uh, settings. And then there's this setting, which is just goes like a disco light. Um, you could make it go like faster, or you can make it go slower. And then there's another option that you can make it go like fade, like that. Fade and it goes to different colors fade. Same thing, you could go fast, go fast, or you could go slower. So that's the fast, and this is the slow. And then it goes back to red. And then you, you, you could also do like flashing like this. And you can do any color if you want. Any color you can flash, the solid color. So yeah, or you can do the fade. Fade in and out, any color, like that. It's pretty cool. So here's the purple. You can make it like that. Just fade in and out. And it's pretty bright for six pots. It's not bad. So yeah, then this is how I have it. In the rear. So when I'm driving, you can actually, it'll be like blinding the driver behind you, which is good, so you can see me. And then I got one right here. Got one inside of here, and one in the front, right there. So yeah, this is it for the video, and please like, and that's it.